Creating a fish market for the best deals can be overwhelming, to say the least, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. Bob DeCastro is oh. at one of LA's top fish markets to get some advice on buying sushi grade fish without paying through the nose. Yeah, good luck with that, Bobby D. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you're going through your supermarket, you're going to your local fish market, and you have something like this staring at you. Yes, of course, it can be quite intimidating. Yeah, we're live this morning at Lux Seafood. This is at the fish market in downtown LA. Who knew, but the fish come directly from the ocean or come locally and goes right from here and goes to your local fish markets and to sushi restaurants all across Los Angeles. We've got uh, from Sushi Note, we're lucky enough to have sushi master chef Saito and his apprentice mentee chef Aguilar to help us, as you said, navigate through some of this. And chef Saito, you were saying that we're lucky here in Los Angeles, right? That we live in Los Angeles and we have some of the freshest fish across the country. Yes. How so? Oh. <laughs> why, why, why do we have some of the freshest fish here? Yeah, so fish from Japan, everything, you know, uh, we use uh, you know, most you know, fish you know, from Japan. So this is the good stuff. This is a uh, thread swim bream and uh, red snapper and uh, grunt. This is a uh, kimedai, also you know, a king crab. And an abaco. So, so Chef Saito was saying that in, in 24 hours, it, goes, it comes directly from Japan here. If, if, if you're buying sushi in New York, it's got to travel a greater distance. So we're, we got fresher seafood here. Chef Aguilar, you're telling us if you're going through your uh, fish market, you're going through your supermarket, there are some things that you need to look out for. Here's some of the basics. Tell us what you should be looking for. Um, so really simple. Um, obviously, first and foremost, uh, you should be looking for smell. Um, if it smells fishy, it's probably not fresh. Um, you should look for beautiful, bright, uh, bulging eyes. If it's sunk in, um, it's really not so fresh. Um, feel the f you should feel the, f uh, the flesh. Um, if it's mushy or if it's damaged, it's not a good product. Um, it should be bright um, uh, and nice to the touch. Um, really, really bright. This is still alive. So this is really fresh. Yeah. Um, but yeah. We can say we can see that this that this some of them is uh, alive, still alive here. Alive so sushi note uh, in Sherman Oaks, by the way, is where these two gentlemen have come from, and they're going to be uh, taking us throughout the morning uh, through the fish market here to show us uh, how you can prepare fish, how you can. By the way, as I send it back to you guys, sushi uh, and fish seafood can be very expensive. We know there are ways that you can save money even by buying fish like this, you get better quality, and at the same time, it can be just as affordable. So we'll have more on that coming up in the 8 and 9 o'clock hour. I'm all about just as affordable. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, right? I'll, I'll, I'll be listening. Absolutely yeah. looking forward to that. During Bob. the pandemic, we went and explored a bunch of the local uh, seafood and fish markets. It was really fun. And we came back yeah. from, I think we were even in that exact spot and made like little, you know, meals out of oh. some of the fish. Oh, 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 that's so fresh. That. Always fresh. Oh, well, we can't get much away. fresher than alive. No. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Bob? He might want to watch his little fingers. No, that was. Um, oh, okay, he was, knows what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> professional. He said it, he did it with confidence. <laughs> We've been sitting over here talking about our favorite fish. We all have our favorites. Uh, we do. Yeah. And Amanda, you saw a new movie. Seeing a